Every day, millions of gallons of wastewater filled with dangerous substances pollute open water ecosystems. But what if there was a way to clean 80% of this water and produce electricity at the same time? Microbial fuel cells, a type of electrochemical fuel cell that is set up like a battery, may just be able to do this using microorganisms, most commonly bacteria, that are unmediated and exoelectrogenic so that they are able to transport electrons extracellularly without the help of chemicals. First, wastewater that has already had large objects removed is pumped into the anode, the anaerobic or no oxygen and negative chamber of the fuel cell. This is because oxygen is a very strong oxidant that will take the electrons that the bacteria will release. Bacteria act as a catalyst by speeding up the decomposition of organic matter in the wastewater by oxidation, releasing electrons, protons, hydrogen, and carbon dioxide. The protons and hydrogen diffuse through the proton exchange membrane, carbon dioxide is let out, and the electrons are conducted into the electrolyte, which connects the two electrodes, creating electricity. The second chamber, the cathode, is aerobic and positive. The electrons are drawn by the oxygen here. They then react with the oxygen and hydrogen, creating water molecules. Finally, the clean water in the anode chamber is drained. This completes the process of bacteria converting chemical energy from the organic matter around them into electrical energy, while also cleaning harmful wastewater. While these fuel cells are not perfect, scientists are working on substituting less expensive materials, different types of bacteria, increasing electricity production, and decreasing the amount of space needed to hold these fuel cells to make them more efficient and usable in the future.